And now we're going to explain to you how to build a water bridge. So the reason for a water bridge is if you can't use your aquarium as a sump. If for whatever reason your aquarium has to be higher than... Try and look cool bit. for a second while we're filming this. Just look cool. Be cool. Anyway, so to make a water bridge, I used a 3-inch drill bit, drill a hole in a, just a regular, this is a Lowe's bucket, um, half-inch PVC uh, adapter, and I got an O-ring that fits it nice and tight. Poke the O-ring through. Another O-ring on this side. And tighten them down. Um, this isn't actually the water bridge we're making. This is just a, a standpipe. The standpipe apparatus. And the container. So um, that's a drain plug. And then the standpipe, you, need to, you want the standpipe to be as high as the lowest you want your aquarium to drain. Um, in this case, we've chosen about this high. That'll put it about this um, this level right here where it drained for last uh, summer. That's a sad story we won't talk about right now. Anyway. Now let's talk about it. Too let's much about. too much tap water will kill your fish. Even tilapia. Right, Trav? I had to go somewhere. It's some kind of poison, I guess. It's like poisonous to them. I don't know. They just die. All of them. So we have a standpipe in the top right here. Um, just a short length of half-inch PVC to a compression coupling. Um, and then we run uh, some half-inch tubing. Plug that into the compression coupling. And that's going to go into the grow bed. Here's an actual water bridge. Pretty simple. Three-quarter PVC with two elbows. You can make the bridge as long as you want. Ours only has to be long enough to connect the uh, aquarium to the bucket, but we could put the bucket way over there. Just use a long ass piece of PVC. That's it. There's a water bridge. The water bridge is essentially a siphon. Okay. There we go. Look at that. So that's just acting as a siphon. And it's going to equalize the volumes of water between the tank and the bucket. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, yeah. Okay. So as you can see, bam, it goes into the standpipe. And. Here we go, right into the grow bed, and we have a leak, but we'll fix that. But now you can see that's how a water bridge works, and bam. So theoretically the water in the tank will never get lower than the level of the standpipe, which the level is right of the standpipe. about here. If the water level does go, it's not going to break a siphon because it's not a siphon, it's just a gravity drain. If it goes down below there, the water level will just stop.